Hello again YouTube. I know it's been a long time since I did a video, but I've been real busy. I'm sorry to say that, but um, yeah, it's just the way things are. Um, but something got me excited about a month or two ago. I think it was two months ago. On one of my older comments, or one of my older videos, somebody made a comment about how to... Uh, or I made a comment. Sorry about that. I made a comment about how if there was a better way to se separate pupa from uh, millworms, if there was an easier way or a better way to do it. And then somebody put a comment on one of the older videos I did and recommended me, it was a, um, they put a link in the, to this video to show uh, a product and I took a look at it and I love the idea. It's basically this little box. It's uh, a sifting tray for a uh, pupa. And I like the way it's made and everything. And and I didn't design it or anything like that. I have to give the credit to uh, this guy right here. If I get that right. Space Coast Millworms. He's a... Uh, He's got a couple of videos on showing how he made this little box. And he has a website where you can actually order. You can order um, four different size boxes, sifting trays. And uh, this is the smallest one. You can see it ain't very big, but he's got three more sizes that are, you know, they vary in sizes. So I do plan on getting another one. It's a little bit bigger than this one. And I tried it out just a little bit ago. And it tremendously speeds up the process as far as separating or even doing a clean out if you got a bunch of dead corpuses of uh, beetles or anything like that. Let's say if you're busy like I am and you haven't messed with your millworms in, say, a few months to uh, a, almost a year. And then you go when you do a clean out, this actually cuts down the time quite a bit. So, um,. Scott, if you're watching this from uh, Space Coast uh, Millworms, big thumbs up, man. Yeah, you made a good product, dude. I do plan on making another one from you, or do order. I, I'm getting tongue-tied. I'm sorry, it's a holiday, so I'm tired. Um, yeah, I appreciate your effort and putting in to making this box. So if you're watching this, that's big thumbs up, man. So I applaud you on this. And here again, if anybody wants to pause this or anything, I will put a link to his website down below this video when I upload it. So you'll be able to see his website if you are interested in placing an order. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't had very many orders here lately, Scott, um, you're fixing to probably get a bunch of them when people see this. So, all right. I just, it's just basically, re this is just a review video on this product and everything. But as far as the millworms go, there's nothing really any different. It's still the same. I just got through cleaning out all these drawers and these bins and those over there. And it didn't take me that long because I was using this to help sift out the debris and everything like that and getting all the bad stuff out. It helped me a lot. So I appreciate it, man. And uh, I do recommend if you want a faster way to sift your pupae or if you're wanting to do a clean out or do both, I recommend getting this. So, yeah. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Um, back when I made that video about asking for if there was a better way to sift and separate millworms from pupae, um, what I was thinking of at the time I was actually thinking of something similar to this not in a box form and I was trying to figure out if there was a something on the market that might be close or close to that to that shape and what made me think was is of cat litter scoops that has these vents in them and I was actually thinking of that you know after I got this a couple years later you know, then I noticed, and then I got to thinking, well, I know that I've seen something similar to that in the market, but it was like a scoop for cat litter, so, 
and that was what I was planning on doing at that time of that other video so but things got busy I didn't have time to do anything you know so me working all the time I'm working a lot of 10 hour days all throughout 2017 we've been doing almost every week has been at least 50 hours plus so I mean I've been busy working a lot so that's the reason for not the videos you know people have been asking me questions when am I gonna make another video well here it's Christmas break and I finally have a chance to make a video so here it is but if you ever have a chance to get one of these it's very well made he does offer an option to um, to assemble it for you or it comes to you in pieces where you have to assemble it yourself you have two options to do that I opted it to have it where I could put it together myself you just need some wood glue and some q-tips and then to hold it together while the glue dries you need uh, either c-clamps or bungee cord so so there you go I don't have any PP right now to show you how it works but he's got some stuff on his website on his page that shows uh, shows how it works you just basically just scoop in the material like if you got a bunch of pupae and I know I say pupae a weird I've had people ask, tell me that but that's just the way I say it so pupa pupae whatever same thing <laughs> but uh yeah, you just scoop out your material with your millworms and pupa in it and then you put it in here of course you want to hold it hold something underneath it to catch all the material that from, falls through it your pupae stays in here most of them not every not all of them but some of them do or pretty much about 90 percent of them do stay in it and then uh, millworms slide right through the slits and so does the material that you're using it goes right through it no problem and it sped up my process a whole lot so i do appreciate it scott so if you haven't had very many orders here lately scott if you're watching this you're fixing to probably get a bunch of orders coming to you so <laughs> so uh there you go um i can't think of anything else to say right now so other than i give this a big thumbs up on this check him out i'm gonna put a description down below the video and uh it's the holidays so Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. And um yeah. Thanks for watching and uh I know it's a short video but you know like I said things have been busy. Ain't really much of anything's changed except for this. So uh, so yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.